We didn't really see surprises in yesterday's statewide elections in Idaho and our deeply red state. Republicans swept the big statewide races, including some new faces who are coming in to lead the state. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley tells us about the newcomers to the state house next year. Jude. Morgan, Idaho will have a new lieutenant governor, secretary of state, attorney general, and superintendent of public instruction. Republicans took all four of those offices. However, there weren't any incumbents for these positions in the general election. KTVB spoke with all four of the incoming officials at the GOP headquarters on election night before their races were called. Idaho's new lieutenant governor is Scott Bedke. He served as Speaker of the House since 2012 and has worked closely with Governor Brad Little for two years. He's looking forward to ending the rift between the two positions. Idahoans deserve a team that works together. Uh, after the election is over, the, you know, our boss is the body politic of Idaho. And uh, so this intramural fighting, we've got to put that behind us. I want to restore the dignity back to the, the office of lieutenant governor, be an extension of the governor, work hand in hand with him, and pushing a, an agenda that is good for Idaho. Phil McGrain will be the new secretary of state. He served as Ada County Clerk and sits on the chair for the elections committee for the County Clerks Association. And so bringing that experience will be a really big difference in being able to answer questions. One of the big areas I really hope to see a change is just voter information. So often voters know who they're going to vote for, for president or governor, but when it comes down to legislative races or county races, they just don't know. And so I'm hoping as a state we can provide greater resources so voters can be informed when they head to the polls. Raul Labrador won the race for attorney general by 26 points. Labrador is a former U.S. House member, and he defeated incumbent Lawrence Wasden during the primaries in May. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit down with all the staff and all the people that are working at the attorney general's office and determine who's going to stay, who's going to go, who wants to work work for me and who understands what the vision is that I've been talking about for the last year, which is that we need to represent the people of Idaho, not the bureaucracy in Idaho. Debbie Critchfield also defeated an incumbent during the May primaries. She'll be the new superintendent of public instruction. Looking at my platform pieces, uh, more career technical education, looking at supporting our school districts regionally, looking at the commitments of more money coming into education and targeting those to the outcomes that we want for kids. Now, while those positions are all at the statewide level, there was one county race that we wanted to point out, and that's uh, that Rich Riffle defeated incumbent Dottie Owens for Ada County Coroner by fewer than 800 vo votes. Now, this was a surprise for many people since Owens had been in the position since 2015. Morgan? Yeah, Jude, that was surprising. A very, very close race. Dottie Owens being a Democrat and her opponent who won being a Republican. All right, Jude, thank you.